I shit you not, this is like my 16th take of this video. But what's up, guys? I have a match today versus uh, Wild Chase. Uh, most of our matches are shit, barring, uh, you know, two or three of the ones we've had lately, and this is one of them. So uh, we'll go ahead and play it back right now. Sorry for that weird ass intro. I just, uh, man, I'm tired of fucking recording, you know? Anyways, uh, this is, uh, he's using his team that he's been using for a while, and then I'm using my team that I've been using for a while, and we're like, oh, let's play Pokemon against each other, except if we do, right? So, uh, he's gonna lead with his Rotom, very obviously Scarf, because, you know, I watch his videos and whatnot, and, uh, I lead with my Alakazam. I don't know why I lead with it, but I end up taking the Bolt Switch just fine, which is okay. Uh, he goes out to, uh, I mean, Caruso, as I go for the Psychic, I didn't want to overpredict and, you know, go for anything I would have ended up regretting. Going for the Shadow Ball would have been cool. That uh, would have done some damage, but I still think it probably would have been a 2 hit KO anyways. So, uh, the damage from Psychic was appreciated. And he leaves it in as fodder, I guess, for some reason, so he can go out to, uh... So he can go out to Chomp. I mean, it's very nice to see Rank Caruso got out of the way, like, on the third turn, so that's pretty cool. Um... He goes out to Chomp, as I mentioned. I'm going to go out to Rotom, but it's going to be fairly obvious, either Earthquake or Outrage. I don't see an Outrage in this early in the game. But uh, in reality, Outrage could have just demolished my entire team. This team is not prepared at all for uh, Scarf Chomp or, you know, plus one Mence or whatever the case happens to be. I have to let something die and then bring in Mammoth Swine. But uh, I want the Willows for some reason. thinking he wouldn't switch out like the freaking idiot I am. <laughs> and, uh... I give him the Flash Fire Boost. Uh, he sets up his rocks, though. Had he actually attacked me on this turn, um, then he would have gotten out of this exchange alive. But as you're going to end up seeing, uh, even with Flash Fire, it's still going to be a 3-hit KO. Barely, barely, though. Uh, if he, if he, I don't know if that was max or whatever, but if he got maxed and that happened to be uh, over half and he got it twice, he would have you know, knocked me out. But it's a safe 3-hit KO. So uh, he's going to go for another Fire Blast, and, you know, I was kind of hoping he'd miss so I could actually have some use for my Rotom otherwise, other than uh, sponging Heatran hits. But I'm pretty low on health, and I end up taking out with a T-Bolt, and I'm at the range where Rocks is going to end up killing me on the switch in anyways, um, unless I go out to Cool and I spin them away, and uh, judging how he plays, it's going to be hard to squeeze in an opportunity unless uh, Notori and Tentacool are somehow matched up. In comes Azumarill, I watch his videos, and I'm familiar enough with this team to know that it is... Uh, it is Choice Bandit, so I'm going to leave it in and see what he wants to do. He's going to go for the Aqua Jet. Uh, he could have taken a T-Bolt, I would imagine, but he wouldn't have wanted to. So he locked himself in on that, and he can just switch out later, so it's whatever. Uh, in comes my Brizion, who I know will handle the Aqua Jet very nicely, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, boost up on the switch because I'm an offensive Brizion. I don't have any bulk going whatsoever. It's straight up attack and speed. And uh, I'm kind of scared of Chomp, and I have my plus two, and I'm like... Fuck it, <laughs> we'll see if we can take this outrage, and if I can't, then this is gonna suck. So, I left it in to die so I could bring in Mamoswine, but he ac I actually end up living. And I go for the plus two close combat with Life Orb and Stab, and that actually takes it out in one shot, so that's cool. I am not complaining there at all. Um, what happens next? So, I take some Life Orb recoil. In comes Azumarill again, I know it's gonna Aqua Jet. But I'm not going to switch out, because, you know, rocks are still up anyways. I don't have a chance. I could have gone to Cruel and spun him out right there. But I figured, you know, uh, I'll bring in Cruel now and then scare him out. And then I need to set up some hazards of my own. I don't have rocks on this team, but I have Toxic Spikes. It's the only uh, entry hazards I have going for me. So in comes Notori, and I'm like, whatever. He's not going to get affected by the Toxic Spikes. But I do want Toxic on that Azumarill when it comes in. Some kind of... Uh, form of poison. So, I go for uh, both layers. All he can do is, uh, he can't go for the Leech Seed, because uh, Liquid Use uh, cool carries that standard. Uh, Gyre Ball will do jack shit because I resist it. Um, I don't know if, I think he has rocks on this thing. I'm not 100%. He has it on his heat trend, so whatever. Um, I go out to uh, Pat here, predicting the Gyre Ball or the Power Whip on a physically, purely physically defensive uh, Murkrow in Bish with 252 in HP and defense. If you guys have been wanting to know the spread, there you go. It's full physical. And uh, I don't I don't really take that much from the Gyro Ball, which is cool. So he's got to switch out. He goes to Rotom. I sped this part up for you guys because this consists of uh, Hat staying in here and keeping the rest of his team at bay. And uh, he goes for the Volt Switch to take it out, and I set up a sub. And uh, 
I go for the Roost just to get some health back. Now this is an interesting thing here because he's Scarfed, he cannot, uh, he can't trick me while a sub is up, so he goes for the Hydro Pump. He goes for the Hydro Pump over the T-Bolt because, uh, you know, I still have Mammo, so if he goes for the T-Bolt, I can just switch out to that and then I'll get initiative and then, uh, uh, it'll just scramble around again. So he goes for the Pump multiple times and I'm thinking I'm in a good spot here because I can run him out or he can miss. It's going to be one of the two. And uh, he hits me down really though, and I, it's, it's at that point that I discover that uh, I'm not going to have enough health to live this next one, but he misses. He miraculously misses, which is what I was farming for. I was farming for a miss somewhere along the way. Anywhere would have been nice, but the fact that I got it on that turn was really cool. So uh, he knows that uh, I think he either ran out of Hydro Pumps or he just got fed up with it, but uh, in comes Azumarill, and I decide I'm going to Toxic Saw a little bit. I, it's not really for me to do this, but he's not giving me a chance to trap anything. Um, I'm not going to have the opportunity to bring in Crow against Natore, which is usually the thing I like trapping on this team when uh, Rotom tends to be gone. So, uh, what happens here? I set up a sub, and, you know, just going to let Toxic go to work. As much as I want to roost, I don't know how much a choice banded waterfall is going to hurt. I'm physically defensive with e Light, but I still don't think I like that. I actually think Tentacle is going to be a, a better play to come in here on because, you know, I'll, I'll resist it. And I don't end up taking it that well at all. In fact, another one's going to end up killing me. But uh, he decides at this point, uh, the poison almost kills him, and I think he really wants priority later, so that's why he switched out, is my mindset, because... Uh, yeah, another waterfall would have killed me for sure, and all I can touch him with is HP Electric, which may or may not have killed him off at that range, I have absolutely no idea. But uh, I don't know why I still have HP Electric, uh, if I had Ice Beam, then uh, I'd be able to hit Natori for neutral, but I'm rambling. Uh, right here, I finally get the Rapid spin off I was talking about earlier. I think this is actually the first time on any battle of mine that I've actually used Rapid Spin in a narration, so, yay, whatever, I know how to spin. and. Uh, he doesn't take me out with Gyrobolt, that's what I wanted him to do. But he can't really do much because if he starts setting up spikes, I can just spin them away again. So, uh, he can't Leech Seed to get health back, so he just decides straight up to kill me, and I'm glad I, uh, I put it down to that. So, he ends up taking me out, which is cool. I'm not really 100% of his mindsets on this, but I think that's what he was aiming for. So, uh, in comes Hat again for the third time. Rocks are down, I'm like, alright, you know, Heatran can't set him back up because Heatran's dead. I'm gonna be immune to the, uh, and the spikes and whatnot, because flying. So, uh, he switches out, and, uh, this is Gyroball does jack shit, too, because, uh, I'm defensive, and I'm not, I don't have any speed in me whatsoever. So, he goes for the Volt Switch as I set up the sub. Um, when he brings in Natori, he's actually gonna be able to, uh, set up the sub, or I'm gonna be able to set up the sub again on whatever comes in. And I guess he was banking on him being faster, but I actually end up still being faster. I think I'm... No, I said I was running in fish nature, but just by base speeds, I'm still faster than Azumarill because he's bulky. So, uh, in comes Rotom after Azumarill dies from the toxic damage, and he goes out to Natori, and I can just boost up again. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's down to these two. None of these are going to take toxic damage, but I can trap any one of these very easily. And uh, he, he ends up missing the Leech Seed, and he just kind of got fed up with it because he realized that... Uh, if he, if he didn't hit the seed, then it was just going to be a really uphill battle from there. And at any point along the way as well, I could have gone into Mammo. Uh, if he had uh, Rotom stuck on a T-Bolt or a Volt Switch, I could have brought that in. Then I could have just uh, just hit it with an Icicle Crash. But uh, that's how the game worked out. So, a decent game, kind of full of stalling, but it did manage to keep the majority of his team at bay. So, uh, I'd still say good game to that. And uh, he's got some other matches with me as well. I have uh, a couple with him. I have one or two more. You'll probably end up seeing those within the next month or so. I wanted to get this one up because this was, uh, in my opinion, one of the better ones. And uh, that should do it for today. Uh, kind of a long upload looking at it. No, it's not that bad. Anyways, uh, I'll leave some links in the description. I think I had a Ninbuzz upload happen over the weekend. Uh, new meta podcast episode with Xerxes and whatnot. I'll leave the iTunes link as well in case you guys want to subscribe to it on iTunes. And um, I've been holding this banana chip for like nine minutes waiting to fucking eat it. I've just been waving it around. I'm gonna... It's about time, right? Okay. Uh, let's play episode... Fin let's play. Finally ended. I'm gonna start a new one. Probably not immediately now. But uh, enough with the updates. I will just let you guys go. So I'll see you later on... Wednesday. Bye.